The Royal Bank of Trinidad and Tobago is in fact confirmed by the Premier as the banking institution assisting with the funding of the multi-million dollar projects underway for the development of the TCI. DeAndre Hamilton has that story next. New hospitals, new police headquarters, new schools, new, new, and more new. And all of the new will be admittedly costly to the country. So it is no wonder that the government of the Turks and Caicos is talking with major regional players like the Royal Bank of Trinidad and Tobago with some 7 billion U.S. dollars on its balance sheet about project financing. During a Wednesday afternoon press conference, Premier of the Turks and Caicos, the Honorable Michael Mizek, flanked by his deputy and two cabinet ministers, told the media that it is likely that Royal Bank of Trinidad and Tobago may assist in funding for the schools, the new police headquarters, new courthouse, and recreational facilities, which were on Monday revealed in a national address. Deputy Premier the Honorable Floyd Hall said Royal Bank of Trinidad and Tobago has helped before with projects like the airports and roadworks. The purpose of their meeting here with us today is to offer us a, a battery of options that we can look at in terms of continuing the infrastructure development of the Turks and Caicos. Also, they have played a very integral part in financing private sector investment. And as part of their visit here to the Turks and Caicos, they will be meeting with a lot of developers, uh, whether it be on this island or other islands throughout the Turks and Caicos, with a willingness to assist with, with capital uh, for those projects. RBTT's Capital Markets Regional Manager Mark Jardine and Vice President Christopher Mack were at the office of the Premier for a courtesy call and said their relationship with the TCI is excellent and the opportunities are many. Our clients include many of the sovereigns as well as private sector financing and throughout the last period of, of five years in terms of actively covering uh, the Turks and Caicos, we have been very impressed and we are very bullish on the prospects of the country. So for us, it's imperative that when we talk about financing, that it's not single faceted, but multifaceted. So is borrowing right now a good idea? The world reports are a reality to consider, but the Premier said modernization has to continue. Mr. Mack agreed. I think one of the strengths that a regionally based financial institution plays is that in large part what happens in the US or to a large extent Europe obviously has a trickle-down effect globally but to what degree and so while we represent uh, from our perspective many investors both uh, in the US by large part our traditional investor base has been Caribbean centric successfully financed um, many hundreds of millions of dollars of projects in Jamaica um, successfully underwritten these transactions uh, even though on the international capital market scene it has been a lot of turmoil and we've ridden out those um, those those periods because inevitably financial markets move in cycles so for us to be bearish at least initially of what's going on I mean no one can avoid what's going on in the news but we recognize that obviously Turks and Caicos has made a strategic decision many years ago to attract a target market from the tourism certainly, perspective? Certainly, uh, we're not going on a limb. Um, certainly, I think the, the, uh, in spite of the subprime market in the United States, uh, uh, the Turks and Caicos economy is still very strong, and the economies all around the world, world are still very strong. Uh, those markets are, uh, uh, the subprime market has affected a, a, a small portion of the, of the um, economy to some extent, particularly dealing with mortgages. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to build a, um, a country to a first world country and it requires uh, first world infrastructure. So uh, in, in spite of the downturn in, downturn in the U.S. economy, uh, that, that, has not, um, uh, that has not changed our vision, has not changed our plans to continue to invest. RBTT executives reminded that they are the largest merchant bank in the Caribbean, adding that a physical presence here is inevitable, either as RBTT or as RBC or Royal Bank of Canada, which the Premier informed has been granted a license for operation. For WIV4 News, I'm DeAndre Hamilton.